A group of internally displaced persons, mostly women, are protesting against what they call alleged plots to disenfranchise them from the 2023 housing and population census following their displacement in 2018 from their ancestral homes, which is now being occupied by suspected headsmen. Leader of the protesting IDPs, Ladi Tayog, while presenting their protest letter to the acting state director of the National Population Commission, says they want to be resettled into their communities and be counted as well as their houses counted. The group is requesting a postponement of the census until they are properly resettled. In response, the acting state director of the National Population Commission, Makodi Office, Chris Nenge, assured them of being part of the process as they have no reason to worry about marginalization. At about 11 a.m., a crowd of internally displaced persons from the Abagana and Mbawa IDP camps eat the streets of Makodi to protest against an alleged plot to disenfranchise them from the 2023 National Population Census. From Balcony Junction along Otuku Road, the protesters march down to the MPC Makodi office to register their complaint as they chant songs. <laughs> After a long wait, the acting state director joins the women and takes delivery of their protest letter after they exchange views on the matter. We bring this letter to you and we are pleading the federal government to suspend the to suspend the census because we we are IDPs we are not at home so nobody is in our house then if they go there to write us they won't see us we are in the camp it's the Flani people that occupy our villages no houses so we come to appeal to you to give the letter to the federal government so that the the census will be Suspend. The commission has taken measures to attach everybody to the society, to the locality that he comes from. To attach everybody to the local government that he or she comes from. And by extension, to attach every IDP to the states that she comes from. So be mindful that the commission has taken charge uh, to take tackle this kind of misgivings. So be rest assured that even if census is conducted and you are still at the bank, we will trace you to where you come from. However, a public policy analyst who believes the IDPs need more assurance beyond the solution contained in the APC questionnaire says the victims have been displaced for long and have lost both their homes and loved ones, and the need to reset to them by the federal government before the population census. This is to call on the federal government to postpone the exercise until all issues around the census are addressed. Number one, these women have legitimate concerns. They have been living peacefully in their communities until armed attackers started attacking them. I've read some of their stories, I've heard some of their stories, and they are gruesome, right? Some of them, people killed, and they have been run out of their communities several years in the IDPs. Unfortunately, the federal government is unable to offer them protection. That's not From the look of things, it appears the federal government is taking steps to address the affairs of this enfranchisement, but the problem of lost communities to armed Edsman, who now occupy their homes, remain a valid concern going into the population census. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.